Welcome back everybody. Today we're gonna install a system called Mini OS. Uh, this is something new right here. I've never heard of it. I just came across it, so I downloaded ISO, put it on the virtual machine, and now let's take a look at it and see what it has to offer. Uh, one of the things I noticed right off the back is uh, I don't see an installation script anywhere, so let me search for that first. Okay, using the application finder, I found it. So let's go ahead and launch it. Okay, so I guess this is the installer right here. It says select installation options for mini OS. SDA, 20 gigabytes. ButterFS. All right, we'll just leave that. The settings as they are. You have the right to do what you want with it. Okay. Not sure what happened. But let's open it up again, see what's happening. Let me try ext4. Let me see what that does. I'm not sure if it installed or not. So I guess the best way to find out is to uh, reboot the system. Okay, I don't know what happened. I think the installer, I don't know, it's acting weird and funny. So I don't know whether it worked or not. I was stuck on a boot screen for a while and it wouldn't do anything. So I put the ISO back on the machine and we're gonna look at the live system. So one of the first things I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the display settings. All right, display is now fixed. It looks great, so let's take a look at it. All right, here we are. Mini OS. This is an Ubuntu based uh, version of Mini OS, and uh, I believe they have other versions, but we are on the XFCE desktop. And we have our XFCE panel on the bottom. So let's take a look at the system tray and see what we have out the box. We have a uh, minimize all open windows and show the desktop. So clicking on it, if you had any programs open, it will shut them down to blank out the desktop and re-clicking it will show them again. And then we have a clock and clicking on the clock opens up a calendar. Then next to that, we have a volume rocker. Oh no, clicking on it mutes it. So using the scroll wheel, is actually your volume control. And then we have our internet connections. And that's our system tray. And also on the left hand side of the panel, we have our pinned items. Looks like we have a web browser, a folder, a file folder, uh, a file manager. All right, and on the left side of the uh, panel, we have some pinned items. We have a web browser, file manager, and terminal emulator. So we'll go through these one by one. First, let's take a look at our web browser. See if we're running Firefox or its own uh, web browser. 
some systems seem to have their own uh, web browser and they uh, then others have Firefox and this one is Firefox there's no doubt about it so let's see what version of Firefox we're running here get down to help and about Firefox and we work version 115.4.0 ESR. So, yeah, Debian based. And this does, oh, it opens up the website for Mini OS automatically. So, or is this like a search? Because well, it says website right here. See what this does. Okay, it looks pretty simple to what we just looked at, but no, it is. Uh, yeah, and then we have some. Uh, what is MiniOS? MiniOS is a lightweight and fast Linux distribution designed for installation on a USB drive. The MiniOS project was launched in 2009 as a Linux distribution for USB drives based on Mandriva Linux. However, in 2013, it was suspended due to the liquidation of Mandriva. The modern version of MiniOS has been released since 2020 and is based on Debian. Okay, one of the most popular and stable distributions. All right, so they have info here on MiniOS. So if you want to read up about it, you can check it out. We got some cool uh, photos for you too, and let's see what else they got. Uh, then right here you can see the the versions of Mini OS they have. So they have a very compact version, 425 megabytes. The version that I'm using right now is this one, the minimum, and it's a uh, 386 megabytes. But they also have a standard. Should have probably downloaded the standard. And these are just a uh, maximum ultra and puzzle. So I wonder if any of these actually install at all, or maybe it's just a server admin type of base system. Who knows? Anyways, that's uh, mini OS. And now let's open up our file manager. File manager, of course, is going to be Thunar. Uh, we'll go ahead and confirm that. Thunar 1.8.4. Thunar is a fast and easy to use file manager for the XFCE desktop environment. And that's Thunar, your basic uh, standard file manager. And we have a uh, Terminal, which is Xterm. We'll take a look at Xterm, see if we have, hopefully we have HTOP. And we do. Oh yeah, so we do have uh, HTOP and uh, yeah, it seems to be common on uh, server admin type systems. And that's what this is turning out to be. It looks like it's uh, meant for USB drives. So it's probably a rescue system more than an OS itself. But then again, that's because I downloaded the one that was 300 and something megabytes. So yeah, what did I expect, right? Anyways, this is a uh, HTOP right here. And uh, yeah, everything seems to be running well on it. Memory's real low. CPU usage is low. So yeah, it's pretty good. Now, since they did have HTOP, let's see if they have NeoFetch. And they do have NeoFetch. And right here it is showing me that it is a Debian based on Buster. And the kernel is, ooh, it's a pretty outdated kernel. 4.19.0. And the desktop environment is XFCE. All right, that's your terminal. All right, and then we also have some uh, 
some uh, desktop icons here, like a trash can, file system, and a home folder. But let's take a look at our applications here. So the first one on the top right here is a run program. So it just lets you uh, search for programs on your on your desktop. Then we have a terminal emulator, file manager, mail reader, web browser, and then we have our system settings. So system settings right here has a has one right here that says settings manager. Of course, if I click on that, it's going to open up an app that pretty much has all of these right there on it also. But then we also have accessories, graphics, internet, and system. Then we have an about XFCE and a logout. So let me check out this about. So then I just got some uh, standard info for uh, XFCE. So if you want to look at it, check it out. See where all the credits go. It'll be right here. Now, being that it is a, a USB system, there's really no point in getting into appearance and things like that. But I mean, technically you can. Looks like it only has two out of the box, Raleigh and Greyberg. And then uh, Window Manager, does it have that? Yeah. So you got your default, the lower, Pretty standard stuff. All right, so that's your daemon. But like I said, it's a it's a USB drive system. It's a mini system, so I wouldn't expect too much from it, anyways. But since we're here and we got it, let's take a look at our backgrounds. So we'll right click the screen and we'll click on desktops, and they all pretty much look the same. We got that one, exactly the same. This one just without the logo. But I believe if you open this and click on backgrounds, it opens up your standard XFCE. But then again, here we go again. It's just two versions. All right. Well, not bad. Well, that's it for uh, Mini OS. Looks like it's a little uh, rescue system. So, pretty cool. Everything worked great so far. So, uh, like I said, I thought it was a system to be installed, but it looks more like it's a rescue system. So, uh, that's my little, uh, overview of Mini OS. Uh, the homepage and download link along with info will be down in the video description. So if you want to check it out yourself, uh, go ahead and give it a spin. See if you like it. All right. So that's going to do it for me and I'm out. Thank you.